my dear Taurus, this is a love and spirituality reading, a prediction for Libra season, September 23rd to October 22nd, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. These readings are aimed towards showing you your blind spots and shadows so you can grow as a person and thereby be able to attract a better love life and life overall for yourself. And this will be a love and spirituality reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love reading for September that is up. Or you can check out the pick a card and your personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. I have also a quick flip through of my cards that I'm using today and after Tarot and before Tarot with Pietro Aligo. And I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see the Hangman together with Knight of Cups. <laughs> so it seems like someone is... Um, uh, I don't know, having a party that doesn't feel too good. And uh, it might be that uh, there's a, an avoidant behavior of what is really going on underneath the surface here, either for you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the world card together with the hangman. And the world card is 21 and the hangman is... 12 so it's uh, the same numbers but in different order and both are uh, three if you add them and they are in connection with the empress so this is almost like a, a pregnancy here um, hanging about and the world card uh, uh, it's like the birth uh, the the child coming through from the dimension and into the baby's body but here we can see it's almost like a soulmate uh, connection here but might be a troublesome one like a troublesome love or um, a love that you can have love towards um, problematic people for example loving a, a brother that's um, uh, doing drugs or um, being together with a um, um, husband that is uh, uh, having emotional problems or things like that we can also have problems of our own that's being brought into this uh, connection here okay so uh, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the knight of cups again but from uh, see here probably before tarot and the other one was from after tarot together with the hangman so um, I want to take an oracle card for this. What's going on here with the... It's like someone maybe wants to express their love towards you, but they can't. Uh, because maybe it has something to do with pride or that they don't want to open up that Pandora's box of uh, feelings and emotions. Um high priestess of air you have drawn the symbol of the high priestess of air the goddess of rational thought logic thinking reason and using your mind to consider the next right action our qualities encourage encouraged now is the time to think before you act you are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high princess of air this is the moment to have reasonable conversation and make calculated decisions. And it's not looking like this is happening at all. Uh, and rather someone might mask their very dramatic feeling with a, with a cold logic thinking and not really being logic, but just acting like they're a logic. And um, um, so I'm, I'm feeling in this dynamics, probably one person needs to become more logic uh, and maybe both need to be logic for real, but the other person really needs to learn to open their heart and not be so afraid of their emotions here. It might be that they have relied a little bit too much on the high priestess of air. Okay. So, 
um, I call the six elements and here we have the six of wands together with the hangman. So I'm feeling like someone is very prideful in this situation, wants to come through on the winning end. So it might be that you have tried to um, approach a certain person over and over and over again and uh, not getting really good results. It's like um, beating a dead horse or um, trying to squeeze emotions out of a rock. Um, they are really emotional. It's just that they might be too emotional and they also want a lot of praise from people around them and wants to be uh, really appreciated. Uh, so this is a person might shunt you out or it might be you that's shunting people out and keeping them an arm's length distance because you don't want to see how things really are underneath the surface. How you're really maybe feeling very tormented here uh, with a hangman. And this is how, how we want uh, to feel. So with the six of wands there. Okay, so... I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Taurus viewers. So I want my dear Taurus to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Let's see here. Make this happen. <laughs> Nine of Swords <laughs> have the connection with the High Priestess of Air, I, I guess. And the World card. This is tricky. Okay. So... Uh, it's almost like someone is about to crack. Uh, life is forcing them to, <clears throat> they can't use their old um, ways of dealing with things to, to go move forward. Uh, so someone might have a, like a mental breakdown or something similar to that, physical breakdown even. Okay, so I will just tune in here for a few seconds to you and your situation in Libra season Taurus. So when we have something on the outside, we often we also have it on the inside. So this you are mirroring out to the world. I'm thinking you're trying to look uh, indestructible. You're trying to look like you don't have a problem. So you're trying to look very solid uh, towards the world. Um, and um, you probably need to tell them the truth about how you're really feeling. So. This is the new bottom of the deck and it's the four of cups. So someone trying to drown their sorrows here. Um, okay, overindulging maybe in things uh, to feel better. And this is the old bottom of the deck and it's the six of coins. So I think um, with the six of wands, six of coins here um, that we saw also when I shuffled, we saw the six of wands. Uh, it's um, about you wanting to... Uh, be be good and do good and you want to have like praise from other people like thank you for doing this for me or uh, you're you're so great on what you do and things like this and uh, so you have a hard time showing uh, what's going on underneath the surface and you're trying to suffocate it and then it comes out in this uncontrollable ways uh, so they come out as your shadow so maybe you need to ask for help. Maybe you need to expose yourself a little bit more. What's really going on, how you're feeling. And um, um, you don't have to, people don't have to solve your problems, but they might want to know that you have them. Okay. So that they can help you if they want to, or at least being in the loop of what's going on. So they won't be super surprised uh, if something uh, suddenly breaks down with you or in your life okay so this is the uh, kind of the past but it's more to this reading uh, and this is the now and the green cards here they are after tarot and the yellow are before tarot and this is your future here 
uh, and when I open this, this is the situation. We have the King of Swords, which kind of rhymes very well with the High Priestess of Air here, the Swords suit. And um, I'm thinking this is how you want to be perceived uh, by the world, that someone that has their shit together, basically. <laughs> you want, to, want them to see you as someone that's logic and, and fair and have things uh, under control. Okay. So, and this is the past, and we have the five of wands. So, I'm thinking you haven't really figured out what it is that you want to do. You might be too preoccupied with looking good in front of others and keeping up the facade of uh, you being like indestructible, never having any problems. But really, you haven't been figuring out inside yourself what it is that you want to do for real. What is it that you want to do, uh, Taurus? Uh, who who are you? What's your true expression? Um, I'm thinking there's a, a vulnerability underneath here, uh, which you don't want to show. It might be that you are having leadership over people, uh, or you have um, you're you're trying to be a good example to people because they're looking up to you, and therefore therefore you are trying to uh, to keep up this. Um, this image of yourself but um, uh, I'm thinking you need to do more deeper work here okay so this is your mission and we have the hangman again but now it's from after tarot before it was from before tarot with the two ravens and um, you see here also the <laughs> also Jesus needed help when hanging about on the cross so also you need help you need to show vulnerability and have exchange between yourself and other people maybe let your image of being indestructible go um i'm imagining jesus in this situation probably felt a little bit awkward like he had this amazing powers he probably could have taken himself down from the cross if he wanted to uh, and when he didn't it might have seen from the outside like he didn't have the powers that he told everyone that he had through God and uh, it might be a similar situation for you here where where you don't want to kind of expose that um, you are sometimes powerless too okay so and this is divine interference here and we have the knight of wands so nine of wands, it's, it's really like you have a lot of inspiration from the divine. Uh, you get a lot of information. You're always being in the loop of the next thing that's going to happen on the world arena. You might know the next step of ascension or um, the different vibration of the universe. And now comes this ray and now we're going into this part of the universe. You can feel it in your body because you're in the loop here. So the divine is sending you a lot of helpful energy, making you uh, being kind of a pioneer and a front runner here with both the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. And this is how it all feels for you. <laughs> we have the Knight of Cups here again, and uh, it's from after Tarot. Uh, so uh, it's too much for you. And not uh, the things that comes through here from the divine, but to try to have this appearance, uh, there's more to you than just being this example or being the do-gooder or being the person that leads others and show others the way, okay? So you really need to tap into your emotion and uh, I don't know what it is that you need to drink. Maybe you need some kind of medicine here because here maybe you're self-medicating and here comes medicine from other people. Um, so maybe you need to seek uh, some counseling from some expert when it comes to your physical and emotional health uh, to, to get on top of things. Uh, because this is just a symptom of what has been going on for a long time. But we don't want to be the victim of our own um cover-ups or our own uh, kind of negative thinking or our own suppression of ourselves and, and and at a certain stage your body can't hold um 
the kind of the lies that you're telling to yourself anymore. So it will bloom up as different symptoms. Uh, and uh, there can also, uh, in the long run, create diseases with you. So you would want to, to be nicer to yourself. You would want to listen to yourself better and, and not try to cover up with things that temporarily, temporarily feels good. Uh, but uh, it's just a cover up for the things that you that's really going on. Uh, so, and this is uh, kind of what's going on for you between your past and your future here. And it's the justice card. So I'm thinking you have been unjustly treated in some way. And this is what has made this, um, uh, it's um, like this trauma inside of you. And you're just trying to forget it, but you really need to give yourself justice here. We have both the judge and the court. Uh, so I'm thinking also that you might be carrying a lot of loads for other people and trying to uh, be the one, the bigger person, the ones that fixes thing, the one that keeps it all together. And um, there's something else that you should focus more on and it has more to do with you. Uh, and probably your past here. Lost and belonging. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit puzzled by your reading, really. It's something probably the next step for for all the signs, but this is this is something I haven't really seen before. Okay. Let's see if we can get some. There, thank you. My dear one, when the symbol of lust has come before you, beware that when you toy with this energy, you may become consumed by it. There is a fine balance between desire that is pure and the obsession that arises in the insatiable thrill of danger. Be careful that your desire remains good and that your wanting doesn't cause hurt to yourself and another. It is best that you move cautiously forward. If you're asking about a relationship, you may be developing an obsessive fever that will take a long time to recover from. Ask yourself what is the nature of your desire? Why do you want it so badly? Beware there's always a hidden agenda in lust. What is yours? Um, so I'm thinking that like this, you have been traumatized in one way or the other uh, by the past probably and you need to give yourself justice but the way you're trying to give yourself justice is maybe by um, kind of trying to help or be a, a role model for the t same type of people that hurt you in the past so you're trying to almost win them over with being this icon or being this example the people that put you on the cross ones 11 12 um, so you're trying to win them by uh, kind of um, amazing them. Oh, how amazing you are. Um, uh, you are so worth loving. You are so worth admiring. Are you really supposed to give all this energy away to these people? Isn't it better if you would, you know, be with other amazing people that could give you the same thing back instead of you just being this one and like example or icon for people so I'm really thinking that this is your shadow coming forward and even if you have your thing together let's say that you live in stable relationships you might get fall in love with someone that's a really bad boy or bad girl uh, because again it reminds you of uh, the trauma that needs to be fixed or an injustice that was made uh, against you but you can't change other people you can only change yourself so here is time to be logic for real and not this fake logic but actually see that i'm trying to impress people that is not worth impressing okay or i'm falling with love with people uh, that is not worth falling in love with because um, they are not really in my league even, okay? And we have belonging. So this is what you want to achieve. You want to achieve belonging to people, but uh, you're trying to belong to the wrong crowd is what I'm feeling. And you might take the other people a little bit for granted and aiming a lot of energy towards these people. That's really the wrong kind. 
My dear one, I know you have been searching your whole life for a sense of belonging, a feeling of home and acceptance. Come and enter the house of night, for when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, I know that I, Nyx, the goddess of night, have chosen you. Uh, so I'm thinking you need to go through the gateway of what you fear the most and maybe sacrifice these people that you know aren't good for you, that you're just trying to press to get a sense of belonging and maybe reach out to if these people that hurt you uh, in the past are still alive, you might need to reach out to them, not to get anything from them, but to maybe tell them that you are judging them a tiny bit <laughs> okay so um this is um, your your work that needs to be done and we have the nine of wands here so the wolf is coming in uh, and uh, i'm almost feeling like you have let it into your life because you want it to give you justice this time you want the wolf to be nice and not to hurt you but the wolf in its nature is to hurt you and in your nature should be to defend yourself and not um, and not um, kind of let yourself be the victim here. It's very tricky because you are so strong and, and still you have this, um, it's, uh, it's like the Achilles heel, <laughs> the part where you can get hurt uh, with this, that you're trying to impress people or you're trying to look very solid in front of them, like... Uh, almost like you were the spiritual teacher and then you have students that um, is um, maybe from social groups or situations where, where they are living a very harsh life and it's a kind of uh, coming over, it's spilling over to you because you're trying to make these types of people to love you. And it's nothing wrong to be trying to help these uh, people that's so lost but you need to you need to figure out why you are doing it are you doing it so that these people will love you or are you doing it uh, for some other reason because it's your um, you feel like this is uh, your superpower that you can help people but you just need to look at your motives also your are you really in love or are you uh, f infatuated with a person because uh, they are looking like a person that hurt you once, okay? So this is outside interference here uh, in the past. <laughs> we have a page of pentacles. So I'm thinking about a poem that's from uh, Khalil Gibran, the book The Prophet. It's a great book. And it's talking about uh, the road and the people that's uh, traveling on this road, that there's... Um, um, midgets there and humans and maybe angels I don't know so we are all walking towards our god-like self but um, if you are quicker and you are able to walk uh, before them you can remove the sticks and the stones that's in their way to help making the road easier for the people that follows so it seems like this might be in still in your mission that you are supposed to help people like this uh, you just need to understand that you're not doing it to impress anyone or to get them to love you, okay? You're just doing a spiritual work, so you need to love yourself, okay? So this is the future when it comes to uh, interference from other people, and we have a four of wands. So in all this trouble here, uh, it seems like you are able to create a stability with people. You have that... Uh, capacity it just might be a little bit hard on you now because you're fighting yourself here and your own sense of justice you might be really pissed off with certain people but you're trying to keep this cool exterior and you're allowed to keep the cool exterior but still communicate this thing what it is that you want to share uh, the things that might really be the the real teaching that you can give to people okay so I'll also take a spirit message oracle card for you, Taurus. New beginnings. 
everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore uh, constantly changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Uh, I can't see really what the new direction is because you need to sacrifice this old image of yourself first before it can come. And sometimes when we go through this, it can be... Um, it can be a difficult moment because we are faced with our blocks and we can't move forward and we it can be rather intense life uh, things that happening in your life and they will force you to rem to remove this block or let go of this old way of perceiving the world and um, or yourself and um, uh, accept in you and when you have accepted in you I think it will be like a river of water. You will quickly be carried to the place where you are supposed to be. But there is definitely a block and it's it's your blind spot. Uh, it's how you want to be admired and loved by uh, certain people that's not really worth uh, your love. But you're still here to help these kind of people. But more with your sense of justice uh, than your willingness to sacrifice yourself okay so my dear Taurus I hope this helped and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like my content and want to see more videos like this on how to heal yourself and make yourself ready for the true romantic partner of yours or if you just want to work on your spiritual growth remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video is ready and waiting for you uh, the next uh, round of astrological videos will be the love readings that I will do in late September for the month of October for all the signs. And also keep on the lookout for the pick a card readings and the near personal readings that will be spread throughout the month. I also have the um, uh, flip through of these two decks, the uh, after tarot and the before tarot up on my channel. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. And until next time, take re really good care and stay blessed. Bye bye.